Bet, the nation's leading spray deodorant, and Finesse, the flowing cream shampoo, bring you everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? cream shampoo bring you everybody's favorite guessing game what's my line and now let's meet our award-winning what's my line panel first the popular columnist whose voice of broadway appears in the new york journal american and papers coast to coast miss dorothy kilgallen A charming young man who this Tuesday night is going to star on the program Danger in a script which he wrote himself, Mr. Steve Allen. Thank you. Thank you very much. And on my left, the lovely lady whose new play Late Love moves to the Booth Theater uh, in New York this week, Arlene Francis. And on my left, the publisher of those exciting landmark books for America's boys and girls, Mr. Bennett Sir, for boy and sir. <laughs> and on my left, the distinguished, very distinguished news analyst, panel moderator, and the poof in our pudding, John Charles Davis. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Once again tonight, some very nice people have come to spend an evening with us and brought with them some occupations. We trust that the occupations will give the panel a great deal of trouble so that our guests will have, one, a lot of fun, and two, carry home some prizes. We'll also have a famous guest challenger before the panel a bit later on, but let's get the ball rolling down the aisle now. It's time for the experts to uh, meet our first guest whose line they have got to spot. So would you sign in, please, ma'am? Karen? Karen Clarius, is that right? <laughs> Would you be good enough to tell us where you're from? Jackson Heights, New York. Jackson Heights, That's New right. York. And is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. Clarius. Well, Mrs. Clarius, there are four folks there from Manhattan. It's not a long walk, and they'd like to meet you. So would you walk over and meet them? Can I shake hands with you? May I see your hand, Mr. Perry? I want to see your palm. Uh-huh. You're going to sit next to a man by the name of John Daly in just a minute. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Clarius, will you come over here now, please, and join me? And I think very probably that um, you know that at this point, the panel gets one free guess as to what your line may be, and we always begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she operates a very chic Finnish bath. A very chic Finnish bath, <laughs> Mr. Allen. I think she runs a modeling agency. Miss Francis. I think Mrs. Clarius is a golf pro for ladies only. Mr. Sir. I think Mrs. Clarius is a very expensive interior decorator. No, I'm afraid nobody has it. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Clarius, and at the same time, we will tell them what her line is. <laughs> but now, Mrs. Clarius, the panel is going to start trying to find out just what this is all about. We hope that they'll trip along the line. Every time they trip, I flip a card. That's every no answer, and it's worth $5 a flip, 10 flips, and you've won the game. Mrs. Clarius is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with um, Steve Allen. Do you deal in a product, Mrs. Clarius? Yes. Uh, <coughs> could I put your product in my pocket? Yes. <laughs> to uh, assume from the audience's reaction that uh, there are more logical places for this product than my product. Yeah. Could this thing be worn? Worn? Be worn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Could it be worn by women? Yes. Uh, worn by women, I could get from my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Am I correct in guessing that this is something that would not keep a lady warm during a long, cold winter? <laughs> yes, you're correct in guessing it wouldn't keep a lady warm in the long, cold winter. Am I also correct in guessing that this would be something then that a woman might 
be more apt to keep in, say, a drawer or a box rather than hang it in the closet. <laughs> Might a woman with a uh, very wealthy husband have a collection of these? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it something that uh, a woman might wear to, uh, say, a formal party, a formal dinner or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At this very moment, maybe. <laughs> uh, is Arlene wearing a bunch of these around her neck? <laughs> well, Arlene is not wearing a bunch of these around her neck. One down and nine to go. Arlene, present. Uh, Mrs. Curious, is this something that um, you work on personally yourself, this product? Yes. Uh, is this product uh, uh, inanimate? Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 yes. There is no life in this product. <laughs> no life in this <laughs> Has there ever been any life in this product? Has there ever been any life in this product? <laughs> Two down, and eight to go. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, sir. <clears throat> Mrs. Clarius, you've said nothing about poor male sex while this has all been going on. Could a male also uh, wear this product or yes. use this product? Yes. Just as likely to as a female? Yes, of fact. I think so. If mm. either a man or a woman wore the product, uh, would it be visible to the naked eye? Yes. It would? Yes. Uh, in other words, the product would be used above the neck, is that correct? Yes. Would it be something that uh, might possibly be used around the mouth? A uh, small conference, please. Yeah. Mouth, no. <laughs> small mouth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Give me a yes. Uh, might it be inserted inside the mouth? Yes. Has it got anything to do with uh, molars of any kind? Teeth? Yes. False teeth? Yes. Well, you 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 make false teeth? Yes. You yes. never been known to keep a lady warm on a long winter night. But I <laughs> well, uh, Mrs. Careers, we hope you had a lot of fun. Got a small prize, but it was very nice to have you as a guest. We did give the panel some trouble. Thanks for Thank coming you. to see us on <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Would you sign in, please, sir? Logan A. Logan A. Gallagher. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, that's a fine, bold handwriting you have there, Mr. Gallagher. Where are you from? Hagerstown, Maryland. Hagerstown, Maryland. Well, that's a nice country. Been down there several times myself. Um, actually, uh, let's see. They have a... Uh, it's my wife's mother comes from there. So we have almost, we're almost That's relatives. Right. Will you go down and meet my friends on the panel now? Hello, Mr. Gallagher. How are you, sir? Hello. I do. All right, Mr. Gallagher, now that you've crushed all their hands, come on over here and sit down next to me, will you? And I think, as you probably know, at this point in the uh, game, we always let them have one uh, free run, as it were. And we always begin the free runs with Miss Kilgallen. Well, I think he's a captain on something seafaring, maybe a tugboat. A captain on a tugboat. Mr. Allen. That's peculiar. I got the same sort of message. He looks like an outdoor man to me. As a sunburn, this being National Tuna Week, I'd say he's a tuna fisherman. All right, Miss Francis. I think he's a backfield coach at some university. Mr. Seth. You don't seem to realize Hagerstown's way inland. I, I think <laughs> Mr. Yeah, but Mr. What a Gallagher beach. is a truck farmer. A truck farmer? Mm hmm. Oh, that's not right either. So we'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mr. Gallagher, and at the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. Uh, <laughs> At this point, uh, we give the panel one more bit of help. We tell them whether you are salaried or self-employed, then they have to go to work. And all you have to do is to get no answers. And every time you get a no answer, I'll flip a card. Ten of these, and you've got it all sewed up. Okay. 
All right, Mr. Gallagher is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Miss Arlene Francis. Mr. Gallagher, are you an outdoors man? Does your job keep you out of doors some of the time? Yes. Uh, do you uh, wear any kind of uh, covering other than the sort of good-looking suit you have on now while you're working at your job? A coverall yes. or an overall or something like that? You do? Do you work um, in the earth in some way? In the earth. In the earth. On the earth. <laughs> you mean above it? I mean... Well, I think this is a very tricky question. Mr. Gallagher is inclined to give you the benefit of the doubt and therefore to be somewhat more generous than I would be. However, <coughs> I do not feel that it's my province uh, to go against his wishes. Well, I couldn't we'll be give happy. you a yes. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, rather. Now, back to Mr. Gallagher, and that'll be a relief. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gallagher, you use tools in your job, implements of some kind? Yes. Uh, would you be uh, inclined to... Do you grow anything in the soil? No. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I'll fall for Mr. Daly's false lead, Mr. Gallagher. Do you possibly work below the surface of the earth at any time? No. That's two down and eight I to go, Mr. Kill Gallagher. Well, do you ever deal with living things? Yes. Are they ever people? Yes. Would you say they were usually people? Yes. <laughs> Almost to the exclusion of animals? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Um, are these people of a specific uh, class of society? Or do they all have something in common? I would say these people all had something in common, wouldn't yes. you? Yes, yes. Uh, are any of them where they are involuntarily? Mr. Gallagher! <laughs> <laughs> no, none well, of them... They're really <laughs> Mr. Gallagher says, well, they're really wrapping us. None of them are there involuntarily. There's three down and seven mm. to go, Mr. Allen. Are you employed by the city? Oh, no. City. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. You, oh, you're self-employed, are you not? Yes. Isn't that correct? Oh, uh, do you, uh, is there any end product involved in the job that you have? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Seth. Mr. Gallagher, do you teach people anything? Mm. Yes. yes. Would what you teach these people have something to do with, with farming in the general sense? Growing farming? Things? No. Growing no, things? Uh, no. Six down and four to go, Mr. Gill Gallagher. Well, would there be any activity going on where you are teaching the people something, any physical activity? Yes. Would it be anything in the line of games or sports? Yes. Um, outdoor games and sports? Yes. Um, is this something that young men play? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it a game involving teams rather than individuals, like such as track? This involves teams. Yes. Is this the sport that's ever played by colleges? By colleges? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it ever played by, uh, by others, ever played professionally? Oh, yes. Um, would it be more likely that men would play this than girls? Yes. Is it seasonal? I think it can be yes. so described, yes. Well, now, um, Arlene said something about football on the wild guess, but she got no uh, <laughs> smile from John. So is it something other than football? Yes. Uh, is it in season now? No. no. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Allen. One more minute. Is it a warm season sport? Yes. You could play it in here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Is it baseball? Yes. You're a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you uh, do something with baseball, huh? but you're self-employed. Do, do you do something other yes. than actually participate in the game? Like yes. you rub down baseball yes. players or... Are you asking, is, does Mr. Gallagher rub down baseball players? <laughs> Time is elapsed. And on this happy note, 
I will flip the cards on oh, a default a because Mr. Gallagher manages an all-girl baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gallagher is the manager of the Hagerstown, Maryland Mullers, the original Mullers. Mullers or? Mullies, not oh, Mullers, Mullies. <laughs> well, Mr. Gallagher, you have won the full prize and deservedly so, and our thanks for being a fine guest in What's My Line. Nice to see you. <laughs> now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, whom our friends on the panel would recognize immediately, so we've had to put some blindfolds on them. Are those blindfolds all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with um, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in some form of the entertainment world? We. Oui. Uh, are you, uh, judging from the applause, what might be called a glamour girl? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you, or have you ever been in motion pictures? Oh, we. Oui. Uh, is that is that your current form of employment? We. Oui. Are you more famous from for your work in movies than on stage? Hmm. Mm hmm. What's that? That's. <laughs> That's her. You never took Greek? That's yes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, have you uh, ever done anything besides movie work? Oh, we. Oui. Have you ever appeared in television? Small conference, awfully sorry. <laughs> she wants to know if this counts. We. <laughs> um, oui. Uh, have you ever appeared on a regular program of your own on television? Small conference, sir, Miss <laughs> uh, Did you ask the question, did our guest ever appear in a regular television well, program of her own? Well, let's say a regular television program. I don't know. I know how shady you are with definitions. A regular <laughs> weekly television program. A regular week... Oh, you, you mean a regular weekly television program. Yes. That's one down and nine <laughs> to go. <laughs> Mr. Allen, was the program on which you appeared then someone else's show rather than your own? Mm, yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Have you made a picture in the last year? Oui. Uh, are you married? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> are you over 21? Oui, monsieur. You'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever made a Technicolor motion picture? We. Oui. Let's see. Oh, no. boy. Was it a musical? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Is this husband that you have admitted to also in pictures? We, oui, madame. <laughs> He's very well known in pictures? Oh, we. Oui. And he very often has a mean right in pictures? He's a strong man. <laughs> I guess that means yes. <laughs> the lady got weak just thinking about it. <laughs> Do you have some uh, boxer dogs? Oh, yes. Oui. <laughs> Trois. Trois. <laughs> Three. Five. Uh, 
Are you here in New York because you have recently finished a picture that is going to tell all the women of the world how to marry a millionaire? <laughs> Are you one of the most <laughs> devastating young women in pictures, Lauren Bacall? That's right. <laughs> I think it was worth a fortune to see Dorothy's face after the first question of Steve. <laughs> Dorothy knew then. I right? suddenly got one, the voice, one, yes. one whisper of that husky voice. Oh, no, it wasn't husky, you were a dead though, was it? Oh, yes. Oh. Well, the most wonderful oh. thing about this telling uh, all the young ladies in the world how to marry a millionaire is going to be in Cinemascope, which means it's in three dimensions you learn how to... Uh, yeah. You get a three them. millionaire that way. Yeah, <laughs> you get a three millionaire and you can practically get a hold of them. But that I, means that I'm awfully big, too. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think that's you possible. Are. Don't yeah, think that's possible. No, but I must say that uh, from all the advance notices, um, you enhance its glory, which I'm sure will be considerable. Thank and that uh, it's going to be a very successful picture. I must oh. say that your visit with us has been very successful and been a wonderful pleasure for me. Thank oh. you very much for being our guest. Thank so you. My life. Nice to see you. Thank you. Will you say With another challenger. Will you sign in, please, sir? Howard? Howard Harris. Well, I can tell you one thing, panel. Mr. Harris knows exactly what he wants out of life. You should have seen that signature go down. Mr. Harris, our time is not too long, so look at the panel, will you? Tell us where you're from. Los Angeles, California. Now come with me, will you? Sit down right here, please. Because we haven't got time for you to go down on that hike in front of the panel, and we want them to have a good chance to guess what your occupation is, which always, in our ceremony, begins with a free guess. And Miss Dorothy Kilgallen always gets the first free guess. Uh, I think he's a casting director. A casting director. Mr. Allen. It's like an executive of some sort, I'd say, in television. Miss Francis. I think he makes eyeglass rims. Mr. Surf. He has a 10% gleam in his eye. I think he's an agent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Harris, and at the same time, we will tell them what his line is. <laughs> All right, Mr. Harris, we have uh, just a little time for the panel to get at you. You know what the rules are. We flip cards every time you give the no, and uh, ten of these flips, and you're in. Mr. Harris is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general question with Bennett Surf. Mr. Harris, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Is there anything surprising in the fact that this company makes a profit? I didn't you... know till just now. <laughs> Is there a product involved in, in this uh, no. work that you do? No, there's no product as we use the term. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, then you deal in services. Correct. Uh, could both men and women avail themselves of your services? Yes. Uh, do you require a considerable education or a high IQ in no. your work. <laughs> this is a rare thing. Diogenes was looking for this man. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Are you anybody's boss? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Do you work in an enclosure? Not necessarily. Now, wait a minute. We don't, uh, I will say this, though, that it is likely to assume that uh, the majority of your work would be done in an enclosure of some kind, yes? Well, <laughs> I'll <that's> go along with that. <laughs> we'll give you a You just don't like yes. to be in the That's door. right. I'd rather be outside, <laughs> but I'm in an enclosure. Do people come to you? Yes. Are they glad to come to you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Are they no. happy after they have seen you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and you say there is no product at all involved in what you do? There no. is not a product in our generation. No. No. I see. Uh, uh, do you do any paperwork in your job? Yes. Do you have to have any knowledge of figures? I mean mm. numbers. No. <laughs> no, not specifically. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Do the people who come to you come to get permission to do something or to get a license for something? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are they usually grown-ups? Mm, yes. Uh, do they do anything physical when they get where you are? 
he... <laughs> Before they get to where I am or after they've no, gotten after there. You, after you see them, do they move around at all? Yes, quite frequently. Stand up and sit down? Yes. Uh, and you think it's fun? I must say that I think that uh, Miss Dorothy is getting the germ of an idea, but our time is running out, so by default of time, and not the panel's fault, you get the full prize, and Mr. Harris, you're going to be very happy to hear, is a television gag writer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you uh, do this for now? Does this give you a clue? Jackie Gleason? Jackie Gleason, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Harris, thanks very much for being with us. Nice to have you with us. We'll be back. In just a minute. And now, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, Steve. Happy Tuesday night. Thanks. Good night, boys, and good night, Arlene. <laughs> good night, boys and girls. Good night, Bennett. <laughs> now, I'd like to say that our mystery guest tonight is really one of the swellest people in Hollywood. True. Good night, John. <laughs> and good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Cotman production in association with the CBS Television Network.